So here's a very short tutorial on how to animate a smile game in Maya. And what we've got here is is, a, is some animation from Willy, uh, this little character here, who is exiting screen right in a big hurry. Now the tutorial on how to do this is in a separate video, um, because that's going to take a little bit longer. But what we really need for our purposes is to get Willy into an anticipation pose, which is here at frame 25. So it takes him a second to get into his pose, and we know, just looking at this pose, where Willy is going to go, right? So we can have him exit screen right super fast. Now, the actual smear frames are here, frame 26 and frame 27. Um, my mouse is behaving badly. So 26, I've got these two um, kind of stretchy things here, and in fact, I can just stretch this one out a little bit longer. They're just primitives that I've created in in um, in Maya using. Uh, they're just cylinders, in fact. And then in frame 27, again, it's just another cylinder. If I if I go to um, um, if I go to the animation view here, uh, and let's see panels, shot camera up there. And if I go to panels perspective here, you'll be able to see if I hit F. There we go. It's literally just a cylinder. Uh, that I've created there, and then this little ball here is just a, a, a I just created a ball. So Willie's in the frame at frame 25, then at frame 26 I created a ball, 27 I made it smaller, 28 I made it smaller still, and 29 there's nothing left. So the smear, so Willie actually never leaves the scene, or we never actually animate him out of the scene. We just get rid of him at frame 26. His hat is left behind. Um, I can cover that in a separate video. I've just got his hat kind of spinning in the air there and then and then landing on the ground. Um, and actually, it's not Willie's hat. It's not the one that comes with the rig because there's something wrong with the one with the rig that needs mending. Um, so I just imported a bowler hat, which I found at Turbo Squid, and um, uh, uh, attached that to Willie's head using the um, Parent Master tool, uh, which you can uh, download. There's a separate video on how to install the Parent Master tool. It's a really, really useful tool for attaching and unattaching objects in Maya. But um, for here, what we've got is two, essentially just two tubes. Um, and I made them by just going create polygon primitive cylinder like that. And uh, just I just created a long, a long cylinder and that's it's really it's really no more complicated than that um, oh wait, let me just go to the scale tool there we go and it, you're going to need a few um, under inputs it's going to need some uh, uh, subdivisions in terms of the height so let's put in five there there we go so that you can then right click on that and go to vertex mode and then you can shape those um, whoops let me just find that thing again. So the cylinder I just created was P cylinder three. So let's press F. There we go. So if I right click on that and go to vertex, whoops, right click vertex mode, I can um, uh, move those guys around. Uh, you know, I can shape it. I can do whatever I want. Uh, I can use the scale tool. You know, very very simple modeling um, modeling um, skills are needed to do this so let's go let's if we just go back to the um, shot camera um, so I'm just going to go ahead and right click on that so back to object mode and I'll just delete that because I don't need it so all we've got here is two cylinders smear frame I've named them smear frame and smear frame one I I um, also made them blue so I attached a material to it you can't see on the screen but I'm right clicking um, material attributes and you'll see I, I created a, um, a new Lambert signed a Lambert to it and made it a blue color so that's how I did that and then at frame 25 there's a new smear frame smear frame uh, 3 actually it looks like I haven't even named it I've called it polycylinder 2 which is um uh, very bad of me so let's call that smear frame three because you always want to name everything in Maya um, and then that's it Willie's out of the shot so that's it 
so and I learned all of this I learned how to do this uh, working for um, the great Eric Goldberg on uh, Looney Tunes back in action who was brilliant at showing how how much you could get away with in terms of animation like this character you don't actually have to animate the character off the screen you just have a smear and the viewers eye will do the rest so that's how to create a smear frame in Maya <laughs>